Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in for a huge, huge new update to Nuclear Throne Ultra. This is update 31. It is in beta at the moment. I am a beta tester, so I get to test this thing out. But yeah, there has been a lot of changes. So much so that I can't even really cover them all. But there's been balance changes, new guns, new content, new mutations, um, changes to existing ones. There's all sorts of stuff, new golden weapons, there's just a ton. I mean, look at this little thing here, you got a little circle that shows you what the character's like, I think it's really cool. Um, that, that's new as well. But yeah, we got all sorts of stuff going on with this. Um, we'll go with the jaw splitter to start with, and we can take a, a crown start as well. Uh, but yeah, there's been changes to the crowns, like the crown of choice that I normally go with, it isn't quite as good as it once was. Um, so, there's going to be some changes to what we pick and when we pick it. I think I'm going to go for the higher chance of inverted, because I kind of like the idea of uh, being able to get some weapon mod upgrades early on. But yes, yeah, so we'll be seeing what we can do with this. And you can see as well now, I glow blue when I have iframes. So, I can see when my roll is going to protect me from taking damage, which is really nice. And I imagine if I get my water boost roll, that'll be even better. Wow, that was a... A really sad first floor for the amount of rads that we got there. Never normally get quite that low amount, but we'll deal with it. But yes, we do get fish can roll. I thought we'd start as fish here and just work our way through the characters again with the new update. Because there is a lot of new stuff to potentially see and I'm very excited. Even just like new animations you kind of saw there as it showed these. It was like a slightly new on animation. We've got Throne Butt here, Water Boost, um, Unlimited Rolling, Charge a Wave whilst rolling, Waves redirect enemies and projectiles, get even more ammo from ammo pickups. Let's give this a go. Let's give this a go. Not particularly best pleased with this. Look, look at that, that's, that's really, really cool, that. That's really, really cool. So I can charge up, and yeah, it essentially allows me to force enemies in another direction, which is very, very nice for us right now. And obviously, unlimited rolling for the extra speed boost is nice. Dude, that is insane. Holy. Okay, so let me just... Ha what's my maximum charge up here? Because that was... That was wild. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Obviously, it doesn't really do damage. But the fact that I can even do that to, like, sort of force enemies in a direction makes this throne book, like, way more unique and interesting. I like it a lot. We've got a frost pistol there. I'm going to stick with what I got. But yeah, I can water boost all the way over to him and then do that. And then as he fires projectiles, they won't be able to hit me. I really like that. I'll take a screwdriver. Why not? I mean, if we can manage to get into the um, thingy area, that'd be really nice. We could take mood swing. Mood swing has been changed a little bit. It no longer affects explosions. That effect has been moved over to boiling veins. But it now affects toxic. When toxic hits a wall, it's converted to a bullet, which I think sounds really interesting. Um, although saying that, it'd be probably nice to take open mind first. Uh, but I'm going to go for new mood swing and try and get a toxic weapon. Um, because I think that would be pretty fun. Seeing how the new toxic works would be pretty cool in my opinion. And also open mind's not going to be valuable unless we find an explosive weapon on this floor, which I don't know if we will. Oh, dude, I love this water rush thing. This is so cool. I don't know if this is new to this patch, by the way. I just haven't used this in the past. I, I, it might be new to this patch. It might have been in the, in the game the whole time. I don't actually know. Um, shotgun, rifle. Not bad, not bad. Um, oh, we get open mind here. Okay, we'll take open mind here. And we'll try and find the uh, the golden car wherever it might preside. I really like this setup we got going on right now. Don't be sealing my ammo, please. Also, something that's been changed is... Uh, Ammo drops are lessened, but weapon drops are far, far, far more increased. Because there's just so many weapons to, to, to pick at in this mod, he's made it so that the weapon mods are far more common. Where's our car at? Did I, did I explode it or just, did I just miss it? Or is it on the next stage? I never really remember. It might be on the next stage, actually. We got a spinner yo-yo gun, which I like the idea of. That might be new. Either way, I'm going to take it. Try to be a little careful with it, because it can pretty easily destroy a car if it is this stage that has the car. Ow. Sniper got me there. Okay, there's a car, but not the right one. Okay, good. We're level 5 now as well. Not seeing it thus far. 
not up here so I can make my way over here safely enough. Okay, no, it's not on this stage either. Okay, it doesn't matter because I just ran directly into an enemy that was pretty goddamn stupid. Also, Crown of Inversion, do you want to spawn an inverted portal? Like, maybe, please. Um, that would be rather nice of you. Kind of the whole reason I took you. Bomb lobber. Not really that worthwhile, I don't think. But level 2 straight away, he is lovely. I'm going to have to pause here and there, by the way. Um, just because I've got some messages coming through. So I'm going to pause now, one sec. Okay, let's keep it going. But we got Mood Swing already, which obviously I love. Um, I, I think Mood Swing's probably my favourite mutation. So I'm hoping we can get some weapons that lend themselves to it. And I want to, like I said, try out the, the new Toxic Blood. I don't think Blood does anything special at the, at the moment. I apologise, I'm hiccuping. I've just eaten. I want my throne butt back. That throne butt was, uh... It felt pivotal to this character. Pivotal, I tell you. This is a good stage, though. Lots and lots of stuff to kill. Mini plasma gun. Ow. Didn't think he was going to hit me there. Kind of played that a little silly because of that. Got some healing there. Lovely. Multiple heals. Thank you. Not quite up to full, but nearly. But yeah, we're going to find things that are a little bit different than normal. I'm just super happy to see Update 31 finally come. It's been in the works for a long while. Um, a long, long while, actually. Probably the longest break between updates for a good amount of time. Um, I really like that animation that plays. Adrenaline Fuel has been nerfed, by the way. It's still good, but it's nowhere near as good as it was because it was pretty overtuned before. I think slightly reduced the rate at which you gain ammo and health, but also there's been some refinements to what classes has been in combat, because obviously it gives you health regen and ammo regen while in combat. But before, I think it was basically classing pretty much anything where there was an enemy nearby as in combat, whereas now I think it just classes like maybe when you're shooting or something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure how it works now, but I know that there's been some refinement to that. The developer probably will be watching this video and be able to give a bit more insight into the update if there's specific things that I misspeak about or if there's questions that you guys have. So feel free to ask away and hopefully the dev will be able to answer some of those questions. Plutonium Hunger has been slightly nerfed as well. Um, also, Eagle Eyes, I think, got a buff in terms of the um, aim assist slash herming that it receives. So I'm interested to try that out. I don't know how crazy the herming is going to be. But I've heard that it is improved. And that, honestly, Eagle Eyes with this weapon is just kind of good anyways. Because it allows us to hit more shots. Yep. Thank God I was able to roll there to get out of the way of that. Good. I oh, know I missed some rads there, but I'm okay with it. Ion bomb. Ooh, ion bomb could be interesting. But explosions aren't affected now, so I'm not as interested as I otherwise would have been with mood swing. Good. Try and fill up that and get us through there. Dude, the Crown of Inversion might have been nerfed as well, because it seems kind of stinky stinky right now. Like, it's it's really not not giving as much. Um, Ecstatic Fists seems pretty decent here. That's not changed at all, I don't think. Um, ooh, Back Muscle has changed. 7% ammo cost reduction. Ooh, I like that. So there's a benefit even if you're not over the maximum. Nothing can do more damage, more than 8 damage to I'm going to try that out. The the ammo cost reduction seems interesting. Oh, dude. Dude, the aim assist slash homing on this is wild. Look at that. On the flamethrower, that's really good. And then with this, we do have uh, fire um, spreads. So this is working out pretty nicely. I'm going to stick with this and hope we get some inverted portals. But the flamethrower, the homing on this seems wild. Okay, the flamethrower with mood swing and thingy here is uh, doing some bits. I didn't, I didn't really think about how good the flamethrower would be, but it's it's clearly got some going for it right now. I do not like where I've positioned myself here. Ooh, what we got down there? That's another flame weapon right there. Is that a flame cannon? Um, what we got going on here? So trigger fingers has been nerfed very slightly. So that's kind of interesting to note. Um... 5% more weapon drops. Rabbit Paw got a bonus there as well. We got... Oh, we got double flame shotgun and mini flame cannon. 
think I'll be taking both of those, thank you. Do you know how we were looking for a fire weapon on chicken before? And now, literally all we're seeing is fire weapons here. This is crazy. Got them. Bouncer bazooka. Why would you ever want that? Make our way back over this way. Yeah, like the the herming is the eagle eyes has some has some stuff going on for it right now that I like. More weapon drops seems good right now as well. I think we go with a shotgun here. There you go. The shotgun did a good job. With that eagle eyes and stuff, it's doing well as well. Should have taken shotgun shoulders. That would have been pretty fun with this setup. But yeah, we can kind of shoot into a crowd. And it spreads the shots effectively to hit as much as it possibly can for us. It's kind of nice. I don't know why I tried to dodge out the way that shot like that. That was kind of stupid. I'm loving this. Is that it? No, we've got to have some back here, don't we? Yep, we do. My bad. Oh, I missed my water booster, though. That was so nice before. And the cannon's pretty good for just, like, large groups of enemies, so I can sort of spread the cannon like that. That's a pretty decent job. Okay, I'm liking the setup we've got going on right now. The fire is, uh, is speaking to me in a way that I quite enjoy. And you can see how it, like, moves towards the enemies now. The herming's pretty, pretty noticeable now. I really like that. Did not realize you were behind me there. Good sir. Let's try and get some of these rads before we miss out. Oh, actually, most of them got sucked up. That's kind of fine by me. We good here? We are good here. Blood bubbler. Ooh, blood bubbler. Nah, I'm going to stick with what i got going on. I'm really, really enjoying these two weapons here. Um, alien testants, whenever you try to use your axe, I'm just seeing if this has changed at all. Uh, don't think that's changed at all. Hammerhead. Um, Hammerhead, I think, did change a little bit, so I'm going to check it out. We'll go with lightning on this bad boy, I think. But you're definitely seeing a lot more weapons, which I really like. Ooh, fire line. Yeah, I'm going to take the fire line over that. That's, that, should, that should be pretty goddamn good. One moment. Okay, let's keep this trainer going. We've got our fire line. I'm really excited to use the fire line with, uh, with the uh, fire spread and the herming. I don't even know how it's going to work with the herming, because it's just a line that doesn't really move. But So it might not really work, but still, it's going to be good. Ooh, that was a really big fuck up there. My bad. Oh, no, come on. I didn't even kill him either. I might die here. Adrenaline just maybe saved me there. Adrenaline maybe saved me. Try and use my dash whenever I can, my roll. I don't use my roll enough as this guy. Can you stop moving, big fucker? Okay, good. It's a lightning pistol there. Uh, excuse me. Back off. That was kind of close. Okay, we're good. We're good. Who's who's this? Who's firing? Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. I come back from a phone call, and this is what I come back to? Holy. I'm really liking the shotgun, man. Oh, sextuple blood. What the hell? Sextuple blood rifle. That seems kind of amazing. What's the shank gun? Oh, that's that. Oh, I do like the shank gun. Um, I think I'm going to take that over the fire line, to be honest. Just because with this accuracy up, it's going to be really, really good at destroying shots and doing quite a bit of damage. Can, can something give me some HP, please? Oh, these bats, man. These, these goddamn bats. Luckily, they do explode the walls and stuff, so I can use them to kind of create a path over here. With this herming, I can fire these off. I won't say it completely safely, but relatively safely. More safely than I expect to. This is wild. This is such a messed up stage. I am, I'm going to be taking Eagle Eyes a hell of a lot more. Honestly, I think I'm going to be taking a back muscle more as well. Now that it has a, a distinct benefit outside of just having more ammo total, I actually really like that. Oh, bollocks. My god. 
Unfortunately, my blood does, doesn't block their lasers, but this is still, with this amount of ammo, very, very nice. Obviously, limited range, but what it's able to do is pretty awesome. Blood wall. Ooh, blood wall could be good. That would destroy a lot of projectiles, but I, I genuinely think this thing's better just because it's going to do more damage. The blood wall won't do a lot of damage. Right, this is a big stage. Oh, thank you for the health there. My goodness. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, man. Um, Trigger fingers could be good here. Negate every fourth hit. I oh, wasn't that every third hit before. Maybe that got nerfed. Um, this is kind of tricky. Trigger fingers isn't going to be amazing for, for some stuff here. Alien testing could be good. I think I'm going to go with the enriched metabolism just for the extra bit of potential protection. I don't like the fact that I'm moving over these webs so slowly, but I can roll over them to increase my speed, which is at least something. Oh, what's, what's, what's this? There's a big beam of light shining on something. That's new. Whatever that is, that's new. I don't know what this is, but... Offer three mutations. Okay. As much as I don't want to do this, I'm definitely going to do this. Okay, let me just make sure I'm in the clear here with, with the enemies that are over here. Ah, oh, bloody hell, the bat's here. Okay, let's not die. I was not expecting big bat at that time. I think I'm going to die, you know. Okay, no, I'm good. For now. Right, wait until that shines again. Seems to shine on, like, periodically. Offer three mutations. Lost rabbit paw. Okay, it's random. Enriched metabolism. Don't give mood swing. Okay, adrenaline fuel. So is this, is this a new stage, then? But we don't, we don't have the ability to gain those back, so what the hell is this? I guess I go with rhino skin here. Whoa, what is this? I'm probably going to die pretty quickly in here, so I'm going to use my blood weapon to keep me safe. A lot of uh, pink bullets here, which unfortunately the blood weapons don't do much to help with. Sheep on a stick. This is... I did not know this was in this update, by the way. I had no idea. I didn't even know there was a new floor in this update, so... This is rather interesting to me. <laughs> I'm very, very worried. I will say that. I'm very, very worried. Okay, these, these shots just linger and follow me. Interesting. Okay, that does have a bit more range than I thought it would have, to be honest. Is that it? We good? We are good. Okay. We ran out of a lot of ammo there. Okay. Activate summoning portal. So let's let's try and hold off on doing that until we've... Uh, ow. Until we've killed a bunch of things here. Ooh, there's some invisible enemies. I I'm poisoned? I've been poisoned. I am just taking constant damage. Well then, so we have a goal for this update. What, so that poison seems um, genuinely, absolutely evil. Oh wait, what? Meanwhile, somewhere else. What the hell is this? I don't know what's happening. You can now use alternative routes. Most areas will have a chance to spawn inverted portals. What? <laughs> oh! I see! Okay, makes more sense now. So, if you're... I, I, I understand what's happening now. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that new area. That's still new to us. But... Uh, the developer said that some things that used to be unlocked will now be locked because they have new unlock methods. And I think that we just unlocked inverted portals. I think that the reason I wasn't getting an inverted portals from my crown is because I hadn't unlocked them. And now I've unlocked them. Now we have access to inverted portals. Ooh, hello, it's the new, uh, it's the new one. While in combat and not taking damage, slowly gain a protective barrier that blocks one hit. Can stack up to three barriers, subsequent barrier charges charge slower. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we just unlocked inverted areas. That's really cool. There's like a cutscene. 
like a cutscene and stuff for that now. I love that. That's that's really cool. I am curious to see what happens in that new stage though. I'm wondering if I can go back there now that I've unlocked this. I'm guessing I can, because there was the summoning thing that I didn't manage to get to. And I, I wanna see what that's about. Missing out on rads here. Oh, I just used one of my protective things there. HP and ammo drop. Okay, so I can kind of see the barrier forming here. Does it need to reach the end of my health bar before I gain one full barrier? I imagine so. Old rifle. Okay, let's go through here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely climbing. That's really cool. That's got an unlock method now. So for, for people that, uh, that haven't tried Ultra Mod and are looking to, there's now something new. Oh, I'm so dead here. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Okay, let me, let me come back over here. Bide my time here. And try and, uh, <laughs> try and keep myself somewhat safe. Kill these maggots first. Because I, I entered a, a den of, of pure evil just then. Oh, balls. Sky fires explosive shots as well. Oh, we got a barrier. We gained a barrier. So I'm guessing a barrier is like armor. It'll just block an entire entity of damage, no matter how much the damage is. There you go. Blocked. We got a club, which I'll take. And then I'll put splinter on the club. Why not? Ooh, I like that. That's chonky. I see you over there. My goodness, I'm I'm having a lot of fun. There's new stuff to see. A whole new world. Beautiful. Okay. I wonder if there's gonna be any changes within the inverted areas. Um Sharp stress, I don't think that's changed. Um recycle gland, don't think that's changed. Can deflect limited projectiles. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll take a defensive build here. Power craving I haven't seen in a little while. Um, every weapon has one random mod. Increase weapon max by one. Effectiveness of weapon mods. Increase inverted portal chance as well. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? I do wish it would give the weapons that you're holding one mod, though. That's my one like thing about that that I don't like. But at the same time, that might be just quite strong. So I understand why not. Double pop gun. I'll take a double pop gun. That's our inverted. Went straight in there. Yeah, I'm interested to explore the inverted areas now, because who knows what they could be. There could be all sorts of stuff that I'm unaware of being added. But yeah, we know we know what our goal is now, though. Oh, we can get double splinter on this. Hell yeah. Go through here. Um, I'm going to go with this because I've got Splinter on. And then I can put Swarm on top of it as well. Or do I do Kraken? I think I'm going to do Kraken because Kraken's usually pretty awesome. Wasn't expecting to do a melee build here, but I got one going. Listen, freedom from those who wield explosive power. I never really know what those mean. I've still not really understood what they are. If anyone knows, give me a clue. Oh, yes. That's a lot of splintering. And that's a lot of crackening. Okay, I absorbed a shot there. Unfortunately, that guy's explosive, which does make him quite deadly to us. Quite deadly indeed. I'm going to have to do some damage from range here. There you go. Oh, he fires purple shots. I forgot about that. This guy's going to be kind of a nightmare, honestly. Oh, no. Okay, he died pretty quick, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that. Um, and then we can do radiation. I guess I'll put radiation on it as well. Why not? Lovely. That's our escape. Yeah, this 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 club is seeming pretty good. We're in this area now. It's one-shotting a lot of things. That's that's what I can say at the minute. And it's 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 kind of multi-shotting a lot of things, too. Like, we're, we're, we're killing multiple enemies in one shot. Okay, we got another barrier here. 
Oh, the, the portal seemed to suck you from less distance now, which is nice. Um... Hmm, thrown butt has been super good previously, so flexible elbows, um, could be useful. I want to go for mood swing because the tentacles and then potentially grabbing something else on top of it, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go for it, just in case we get weapons that work better with it. Look at that. Oh, man. Having, having the uh, shields plus a serene dream is really, really nice. Having that mutation that replaces max health for shields on top of this would be uh, quite the defensive setup, I think. I'm liking it a lot. And on top of that, we've got Bouncer, which I don't think I'm going to take for this, at least. I guess I'll pop it on this. There you go. Yeah. Why not? I don't even know what weapon that was. I just picked it up. Um, also, Scarier Face has been changed. Um, it now... It used to be 85% of excess damage you deal now. It's only 65, but it adds a fixed 0.5 extra damage to all instances of damage, which can make really low damage weapons very, very good with Scarier Face. So, pretty goddamn good. Um, oh, this is tricky. I think I'm going to go for Scarier Face here and see how it goes. We can go with double Kraken here, um, and I think I will do that. I'm going to swap it for um, replaces mod 3 Kraken, replaces mod 4 Grey Radiation. Replace it for that, thank you, and we'll get out of here. I'm having a fun run so far. Oh, this is the boss, though. So our weapon isn't going to be the best for this guy. Actually, I'm able to reach him further than I thought. I didn't think I'd be able to reach him. Oh my god, I just took a ton of damage there. What on earth? I'm probably going to die here. I'm able to hit his own balls back at him. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Um, projectile speed we don't need. I guess I can take it for this once again. We'll swap that out eventually, I guess. That was that was kind of horrible, that boss fight. Okay, we got a few car throwers here. Don't much want to deal with you. Oh, man. I'm liking the setup so far here. We've got three HP in a dream right now. Look how fast you reflect their projectiles back. Do you see that saw blade? I just launched it back at lightning speed. Hey, some HP there. Although it disappeared very, very quickly there. Must have just been there a while and I hadn't noticed. But yeah, it seems that reflecting projectiles back at enemies is now a lot more aggressive towards the enemy that fired it. Go through here. Um, Could go with Thrown, but again, unfortunately, still haven't had our extra thingy here. Ooh. Um, when you are missing armor... Enemies have a very small chance. I'm going to take that. I think that could be pretty good. Um, reload speed. See, there's flame. I think I'm going to take flame over one of my Krakens. I think that makes sense, right? Because with mood swing now, that'll spread, right? Where's he going to land? This is going to be kind of rough with this dude. See, I used my Serene Dream there to reflect a bunch of his projectiles. Kind of worked out pretty well, actually. Lost one of my shields there. But yeah, see, now I've got, like, shields on shields on shields, kind of. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting you there. I just love the way that you can take a weapon that like this that's level 3, and we can take it so far by doing different things with mutations and weapon mods to make it crazy. Ooh, Super Toxic Crossbow. I will take that because I want to see how... Uh, the bullets hitting walls works. There you go. You see all those bullets spread. See, that with a bit of herming would be quite tasty. The cheese fields. Okay, so is this going to have the same thing as last time? I wonder. That's so cool. Obviously, it's not super accurate. You're going to want some, like, herming on that or something, I think. That's pretty cool, though. I'm wondering if that same area will be here this time. It was on the next stage, wasn't it? Dude, these guys are duplicating or something? It's 
kind of scary. Hyper pop gun. I'm still happy with what I've got, to be honest. We'll need some armor eventually. Let's check back here first. Oh, man. The goddamn bats, man. I hate them. Good. See, the good thing is most of the poison with this weapon is hitting a wall, so we're getting a lot of bullets. Here he is. So it doesn't seem that it spawned this time. I'm not entirely sure why or if that's like a one-time event. Or if there's something specific that I did to trigger that event. I'm not sure. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Ah, I gotta wait again. I don't know why it's like on a timer. Either way, we'll do it again. Bolt marrow, unfortunate. Serene dream, that's... Oh, that hurts. Sca that's that's, that's kind of rough. <laughs> we lost some good stuff there. I will take Rhino skin, though, to get some health back. Okay, I can see, like, an invisible one there. Do you see that? Oh, I've been poisoned again. Dude, what's the deal with this poison? Okay, melee weapons do not work in this area. That is just a fact right now. Yeah, that poison. I'm guessing it's that, that like, triangle one's, like, a needle or something that poisons you. That's rough. I'm guessing it can't kill you. I'm guessing it'll just get you low on HP. That's still rough. Oh, man. Okay, I didn't get poisoned that time, but I don't think I got hit by the right one there to get poisoned. I like the way those fade out. It's nice. We're good. We're good. Man. Ah, it's those dudes that are doing it. You see that little needle thing he fired off then? I see. These guys are kind of cool too. Oh my god. I know he's going to do it. I can see you. I knew it was coming. These enemies are tricky. So the, the, the ones that are producing all these circles. I really like this area. These enemy designs are really, really cool. They're, they're, like, not what you'd typically expect from Nuclear Throne at all, I wouldn't say. But in a good way. Yeah. We got Ultra. Oh. I don't know what really happened there. Oh, there's a dude firing at me from up here. Get out of here, shooting through walls, you coward. You rascal. Oh, we got some armor. Nice. It's very, very good. Okay. Now let's activate this summoning thing here. Ooh. Okay. Didn't seem to do anything so far. Oh, oh, oh. I may have been wrong. Don't poison me. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh! That's a big fella. I think I got him. I think I got him. Ah, oh, that's me. It's me. No, I can't melee that guy. He poisoned me too. Oh, what is this? This is... This is fucking cool, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So, melee, definitely not the way to go when fighting yourself. I'm very curious to see what, what we what we get for doing this. Also, crown of, I think Crown of Inversion is just going to be a crown I roll with most of the time now. I really like the inverted areas and be able to get extra weapon mods and stuff. I think that's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's going to be a goal of mine. The only thing is, we, we can build that uh, as much as we want, but we don't know what, what mutations it's going to end up stealing from us. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason as to which ones it takes. Unless it's like the order in which you pick them up, then maybe there's some sort of way that you can tell which ones it's going to take and you can pick the right ones accordingly. Nail machine gun. Oh my lord. Ammo-wise, this thing seems terrible. <laughs> but damage-wise, it seems pretty awesome.
Okay. Go with that. And... Plutonium Hunger. Even though Plutonium Hunger has to be nerfed a little bit, it's still very, very good. It's still better than their, than retail. Better than base game. Oh, dude. Although the ammo consumption of this thing is absolutely bonkers, I'm really liking this. Although I may have just screwed myself, actually, because I no longer have any ammo available to me. Is there another weapon I can use somewhere? I'm going to scoot around and try and find out. Yeah. <laughs> that was a that was a bad call by me there. I definitely want to find more golden weapons because there's some micro golden weapons now and you know me, I love my micro weapons. Straight on through, I guess. Long arms it shows itself now, of course. Um Absorbing pause seems good early. Hey, there's the micro assault rifle. This is one of the ones I want to get um, as a golden weapon. Micro assault rifle is pretty awesome. But yeah, back muscle, definitely going to be taking that more often. Eagle eyes, definitely going to be taking that more often. I like what they've done with it. Back off, sir. Dude, die. God damn. It's a weapon jawbreaker. I'll take a jawbreaker, actually. The shotgun one. Don't mind if I do. Again, with the eagle eyes, it'll become even better, so why not? Throwing butt there again. Um, I think I'm going to take Tail's End here because I'm using a, a best weapon. And best weapons do become much better. Nice. I'm not going to exit the courtyard right now. Lovely stuff. Oh god, this is going to be a bit awful for a minute here. But yeah, this thing having the extra burst damage is... It literally pretty much tails end kind of doubles the damage of a weapon like this. Very, very nice. But yeah, I like the fact that Boiling Veins has had its explosive fire spread thing moved. Because it means that Boiling Veins is now the premier explosive weapon mutation. I'm dying quite a lot now, so I think we're going to leave it there. But goddamn, I'm excited to play more of this and try and get to whatever that clone thing we fought is again. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and please go and check out the new update of Ultramod. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.